Hi friends. I thought I would do a little get ready with me, kind of catch you up and give you a little update on my medication. For those who are new or coming to this video specifically for this, I am currently taking Victoza. We're not keeping this a secret. I have injections that I do with myself every single day. And I just wanted to kind of give you my take on it. I've been taking it now for two weeks. Um, so I just thought I would kind of chat with you here while I get ready. I am not getting like all glammed up by any means. I lately have enjoyed not wearing makeup during the week aside from like mascara and maybe some eyeshadow um and i'm just enjoying it and my skin's enjoying it and even as i look on the camera my, my cheeks are going red just from putting this this lotion on but it's fine it's just probably from getting it rubbed but anyway hi welcome if you're new if you are not um well if you're new let me just kind of catch you up to speed and I have been on a weight loss slash lowering my A1C count for the past year or so. I kind of thought back about it when I kind of started this process. Um, I started it about a year ago and I started it out with metformin um, prescribed by my doctor as we were starting to uh, kind of get my thyroid back in check. I took a few years off from having insurance and so then I wasn't taking care of my thyroid and I have hypothyroidism, I have Hashimoto's. And when you don't have insurance, medication is really expensive and so I just took care of my kids first. And how many moms do that, right? We take care of our kids and their insurance and their health needs before ours. I did that with my teeth, I did that with my health, I did that with a lot of different things. But now is the time to kind of do it for myself. So I started the process going to my endocrinologist, working through my thyroid, changing my medication levels with my um, level thyroxin, added metformin, hoping that that would help me to lose weight. It did a little bit. I think I probably lost about 15 pounds initially with that over the span of a couple months, maybe six months or more. But I was, I went straight keto in the beginning. I wasn't, I was limiting my carbs, I upped my veggies, I upped my protein, and then I kind of waned off of it. We went on vacation, Jason and I, and um, then the kids went and I, we, we all went on vacation again this year. Vacation summer it just got me out of whack and I stopped really being dedicated to it. And so my doctor, I'm stable with my A1C, or at least I was, but she didn't like that I wasn't getting it to go down. So I'm still right in this crevice of being pre-diabetic. And my, my doctor really didn't like that. And so she put me on Victoza, which was my fourth attempt at a medication. The three other ones that we tried, I don't, well, I only know one of the names. Ozempic was the first one we tried. And that was really strictly like a, a pre-diabetic or a diabetic medication, an injection, but it's also a weight loss. But since I am not diagnosed with diabetes, neither that medication nor the other two that we attempted, my insurance wouldn't pay for it. They wouldn't approve it. And so they were denied. And so my doctor is still being pretty determined and in my court to try and help me with this process found Victoza and it is not technically prescribed for diabetes it is prescribed for weight loss a lot of you know a lot of you are on very similar medications whether it's because your insurance is that that's what it covered or you different you're in a different country or whatever sorry I'm like hot <laughs> it's just <laughs> I'm like wiping away all my all my hotness Anyway, oh and my daughter took my setting powder. Little, little child. When I knew I was gonna get the approval for the Victoza, the injections, I, something just clicked in my head. I don't know what it was. I maybe saw some videos. Obviously it's like YouTube or Instagram or TikTok will like, it knows what you're searching for, it knows what you're looking for, and so it'll feed you that information, right? And so it fed me information about getting on a treadmill at my desk. But if you haven't watched that video, I jumped down that rabbit hole, researched a ton of treadmills and desk um, converters. I didn't have the space to actually put a brand new desk in my space. Um, go watch that video if you want. I will, Dana, try and remember to link it. <laughs> I don't do links anymore. They haven't really been known to work very well. Um, if I don't remember to link it, go look at my page and just look at the one about getting healthy and adding a treadmill. Best choice I have made in a very long time, honestly, was getting that treadmill because it changed my habit. Part of the reason why I felt guilty going on walks before, while I love going on walks and I love being outside, um, it was very difficult to do in the heat of our summer. We had a really a hot summer again, and it was hard to get out when it was really, really hot. It was hard to get out of bed in the morning. It's not now, because we're, we're accustomed to getting up early with the kids, but during the summer it was. So I couldn't make it a routine. Um, so if it was too hot or if it was, I knew it was gonna start raining here in the fall and it, was, it wasn't a habit. 
and it wasn't um, enough of a motivator to get out and do. And so it didn't become regular. So I knew with the treadmill, and part of the reason why it wasn't a habit is because when I was out going for a walk, I felt guilty about not doing everything else. And if you're a mom, you know. I wasn't getting my editing done for these videos. I wasn't going to the grocery store. I wasn't cleaning the house. I wasn't folding the laundry or moving the laundry or putting the laundry away. I wasn't taking care of something that Jason needed me to do. I was on a walk. I walked for an hour and a half or two and then driving to and from whatever trail I could find to go and hike on or walk on or whatever. So a huge chunk of my day was gone and I felt guilty and I couldn't get other stuff done. <sighs> So that left me with the treadmill. And the best of all worlds, hang on one second. I gotta turn the AC on. <laughs> I have sweat dripping down my back. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay for a second here. Um, I just got out of the shower and I just got off the treadmill. And so my body, my core is like super hot right now. Even though I took a cold shower, my, my core is still pretty hot. Anyway, I realized even before I got the treadmill that if I could work and edit and check emails and respond to comments from you guys and coordinate appointments with my calendar and make phone calls and Marco Polo, my, my sisters, and talk to my dad on the phone, if I could do all of that stuff at the same same time that I worked out, game on. And I tell you what, game on. Because that has been the best thing for me is that I don't feel guilty now being on the treadmill. I was on it for two and a half hours this morning and then I got a call that Ashley came home from school. She's home again today. You know, you get one symptom on that COVID list and like she kind of needs to go home. And I'm like, she doesn't have COVID. I'm like she has a cold, but she's home. Um, I'll show you what we're working on later downstairs. It's pretty cute. So part of the reason why I'm getting ready. The only reason why I'm getting ready, actually. I, it motivates me so much knowing that I'm getting stuff done. All the things that I would get done if I was home not being on a treadmill, I'm getting done. And it feels good to get it done um, and getting a workout at the same time. A lot of the mornings now, when I know I have stuff in the afternoon um, that I'm not gonna be able to get on the treadmill um, during, I get up and I put my workout clothes on and I get Ashley off the bus and I get right on the treadmill. I am intermittent fasting and I have been doing that for over a year. And so I don't eat breakfast in the morning. I don't need to like clean the kitchen. My kids are in charge of doing the dishes and cleaning the counters and sweeping the floors. So I no longer need to do dishes in the morning. So it has been highly motivating to be on that treadmill during all of that time. Sometimes I have to slow it down if I'm really needing to focus on doing something and I can't like, I can't be going fast on the treadmill and typing fast or something. There are points where I have to like really slow it down and then there are others there's other times where I'm just listening and I'm not having to type or something and I can go fast like the other day I was looking for music and I I was trying to find something upbeat and I was like well let's just listen to this music for five or ten minutes and get extra steps in and so I wasn't actually editing I was just I listened to the song on repeat for a couple minutes and I got 4,000 steps in just like that because I was motivated from the music I happened to be listening to put into an, a video so coming back to the Victoza I started this two weeks ago and it is for weight loss. The whole idea of it is, in terms of my doctor and the recommendation for me to take this, is that if we can lower my weight, it will likely lower my A1C because I'm going to limit my sugar intake. I'm going to limit my carb intake. I'm going to work out more. I am, the weight will come down and so will my A1C. I don't know what my A1C is doing right now. I'm not gonna go in for a couple months to get that checked out, but I can tell you, since before I started this, I started tracking my weight. And I've talked about this in videos before. I don't like weight as a benchmark. I'm, I, I don't like that mindset, especially for women but for me right now I need it to be my motivator I need it to show me that my work has a benefit right like I need to see if I'm going on this if I'm getting on the treadmill is it making a difference and on a day-to-day -day basis it's hard to only see like ounces drop off, right? Like I'm marking what I weigh in the morning and I'm marking what I weigh in the evening. I mark what I drink and I mark what time I take my injection. I take these in the morning and we'll, we'll, we'll keep coming back to this. But the only reason why I'm doing that is to see if my progress makes an effect. The days where I walk 18,000 steps, that was the most I've, I've walked so far, my weight didn't fluctuate that day compared to the day before, and I was kind of frustrated. But a day, four days later, when I only walked 10,000 steps, which is my goal on a daily basis, I dropped three pounds. 
compared to the day before. So there was no rhyme or reason based on what I was walking that day, but bigger picture, I was starting to see a picture, right? I was starting to see results and I still am seeing results. I started keeping track of my weight when I got my scale, but we were waiting to get my pen, my, my injection. So from the time I started tracking my weight to today, I am down 12 pounds. It fluctuates, 11, 12 pounds. It's only been two and a half weeks since I started doing this and since I started tracking my weight. Almost 12 pounds in just over two weeks. That's motivating for me right now. I don't care what the number is, I just care that I'm going down. I have numbers in my head that I would like to get to, but I joke with Jason, this is just a little side note, and I wanna know you guys' thoughts on this. Leave a comment down below, and you don't have to say numbers. Please don't say numbers, numbers don't matter. But how many of you, and this is just kind of funny, cause no, we do it, but how many of you lie on your license, on your driver's license about how much you weigh? Or have had done that in the past? Or it, you put it on there and you haven't renewed your license and then you've gained weight or you've lost weight? My, mine has been lying for a very long time. I'm just gonna say that it, I've been lying on my license for a very long time. I'm, I'm, I'm literally two pounds away from not lying. And I think I tell Jason that every other day. I come into him, and he's my motivator too. I come into him and I say, guess what? I'm four pounds away from not lying on my driver's license. I'm three pounds away from not lying on my driver's license. And he's like, I can't believe it. Way to go. That's so amazing. When you get to renew your license, you're gonna get to put a different number on there because you're gonna be below that number, pretty fun. That's pretty motivating to me. So leave a comment down below if you lie on your driver's license. I have a flashing battery, let me get a new battery. I'm gonna put some mascara on and then we'll keep going. Got a little sidekick here. We'll keep talking to you about my Victoza, this little sucker. I was a little nervous about using an injection. This is a needle, or it has a needle that you attach to it. Um, I was a little nervous about it, but you can't even feel it. Like I don't like needles. I know so. you don't like needles, but I can't even feel it. Every once in a while, I can. I only bled once and I think it's just because I came out too quick, but it's not that big a deal. So I have this pen here. Like you can see, there's no needle on it right now. I have um, my pack of needles that the doctor prescribed to me and I just, I can't do it now, but I attach the needle to the top, I inject it and then take the needle off and I store those hidden in my room here um, and I'm going to dispose of those at like some pharmacy or facility where I can dispose of needle in a safe way. Um, but I do keep them hidden so that like kiddos can't find them, whatever. Um, I have another pen that I keep in the fridge because it is not the one I'm using. They say not to keep the current one that you're using in the fridge because it, it kind of hurts worse to have cold fluid going into you and so they, they just say use the warm temperature. But if you're not using it to keep it in the fridge to la make it last longer. Um, I don't know how much more I have on this one. It might almost be done in fact you can probably see yeah you can see the little stopper is almost here to the top and it used to be like right down here so I'm not sure how many more uh, I might, might actually only get a few more out of this pen and then I will just get the other pen out um, one of you sent me a, um, a bunch of questions for this whole process which is why I'm kind of doing this video because a lot of you are using similar medications and have similar process, whether it's the same brand or a different brand. Some of you are traveling and kind of brought it to my attention. What if I'm traveling and need to keep that one cold? I hadn't thought of that. I don't, you know, I, my niece might get married this winter and so I would hope that I had a current pen that would last me long enough that I wouldn't need to keep it cool. I would just be able to use my current one and I had enough doses in it to just be able to take this one with me. So I don't, I, but I would just assume if you needed to keep it cold, put it with some ice and take it with you. I think medications are approved to go on the plane. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. I've never had to do that before. So I guess that's something that I should ask my doctor about, but I can put that question out to her on my mind chart. I can just send her a little text message and say, hey, if I need to travel, I'm obviously fine to take this one, but like right now, this one is almost out. So I would need to bring a second one with me if I was traveling for longer. So how do I travel with that? So it's a good question. Uh, let's see, what are the other questions that um, my friend from here uh, gave me or what else I can tell you about it? My symptoms. I had symptoms the first day uh, or the first like few days, but it's hard now to look back and wonder if those were symptoms of using this or if it was a combination of using this and my cycle. Like, <laughs> she's kind of distracting, sorry. She's looking at herself in my little mirror I down here. because my 
hair looks darker on camera. It does look darker on, but I look redder on camera than I actually am. Yeah. So, what was I saying? Oh, symptoms. I had the worst cramps I think I've had in 25 years. And I don't know if it was just everything gurgling up down there at the same time, or if it was just like a weird cycle that just my hormones just went crazy. I don't, I don't know, but it hasn't happened since my cycle ended. And so I don't get nauseous. I'm, I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. Everyone, including my doctor and the nurse that taught me how to do this, has said nauseousness is the only symptom that you probably will have with it. And bathroom issues. You, if you know, you know. I've only had the bathroom, bathroom issues, but at the same time, I'm also taking metformin. Which if you've taken metformin, you know what you know. So which one is doing it? The metformin or this one? I think it's probably a combination of both because usually with my metformin, I have symptoms about 12 hours after taking my pills. I think I'm having symptoms later than 12 hours. So it's probably a combination. It's not dire, if I can say that, because I know that it's a side effect and it makes it means that the medication is working. So I guess it's like, woohoo, I'm losing weight. And I, I actually check my weight <laughs> after those moments because I'm, I weigh less in those moments. So it's kind of like, okay, there's, there's my reward. Right? If you watch TikTok, it's like a reward. She's laughing because she knows exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. But it's not like the end of the world. It's not, I, I do plan when I leave the house, I plan where I can go to the bathroom, but I also plan routes where if something gurgles up in the middle of my driving, I know where I can pull over and go and find a bathroom really quick. Today we went to Target and I was like, I gotta go in the bathroom first thing. And she's like, okay, let's go. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't stop me from doing my thing, but it also kind of links back to why I've stopped walking outside because there's not enough bathrooms on a trail, which is where I like to walk. I had a really bad issue with that moment, um, kind of a moment when I was hiking with Jason, if you remember during like the springtime, almost didn't make it back. And now that I'm walking four, five, six, seven, eight, nine miles, there's no way I could walk that long on a trail or on a sidewalk or through town or through my neighborhood and not have access to a bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom nonstop when I'm walking because I'm drinking too. That's another factor. I'm drinking while I'm walking here at home and I don't tend to take water with me when I go on a trail. Again, because of the bathroom. I don't want to have to stop and go to the bathroom or I can't. So there's my uh, kind of my two and a half week update on using my Victoza. I will probably be taking these. Um, this is a 90 day supply of these, actually 100, there's 100 of these in here. So more than a 100 day, or more than a three month supply of needles. I don't believe my other pen is gonna get me a, I mean, I don't think this is gonna get me a whole month, so I'm probably gonna have to get another pen. I, I need to send a message to my doctor. But I will be on these for about three months. That's what my doctor and I have kind of agreed on for right now, um, to see what results I can get in that amount of time, and then we'll go from there. I don't know if she'll want me to keep doing it, if it, if I don't see symptoms and it's not bothering my life and I keep losing weight and I keep improving my A1C and I keep improving my health, I have no problem taking these because I'm making better habits as I'm losing. So I'm gonna be able to keep that weight down as I become regular with these habits. And I guess that's kind of the whole point of me being able to motivate you guys because it's taken a long time to get my headset in this. Like not just this, but this mindset. I hated conversations going out to dinner with my girlfriends when they were all talking about their keto diets or their paleo diets or this fat or that fat or this, oh, I did this half marathon or I did this you know, 20K. I don't know, I got so fed up with it. Like I would even go to the bath just to get away from the conversation when they would talk about that kind of stuff because I wasn't in a place to be able to talk about it. I'm in a different mindset right now and I'm still obviously not at my ideal weight, but I'm making progress and that's really all that matters. Ashley, yeah. should we show them what we have downstairs? What my idea is? Okay, let's go downstairs and I'll tell you what my what I'm doing tonight and what our, what my idea, I'm taking full credit. Full credit, you're not getting I, any. Help. I she helped, helped with the process, but I take full credit for the idea. Yeah. Okay, first, let me just tell you, she made cupcakes yesterday. If you did not watch yesterday's video, she made me cupcakes. I made 16, actually she made 24. There's only 14 in there. Yeah. I came home from taking her to, all, well, taking everyone to everywhere, and I, I there was only 14 cupcakes. You didn't eat them, I'm not blaming you. Yeah, no, but Dad I ate them, Kaylee ate I them. I put like four in like a spot and then like put all of them aside. Why wouldn't you know that? <laughs> 
Lesson to everyone, ask first if you see a treat. Okay, so she made the cupcakes, and we're doing a bake-off tonight for a church activity with all the ladies. And they are providing the cupcakes. The cupcakes I made are going to be for the judges to kind of just decorate while they wait for us, and just kind of a little extra treat for them being there to help judge. I think Abby's gonna come to judge if she's feeling well, but the other youth girls are gonna be coming um, to do that as well. So, our job tonight when we go is to decorate our cupcakes. Now, I didn't know until last night that they want them to be fall themed. Didn't know that. I already had something in my head and I couldn't get it out of my head, correct? So I just modified my idea into like a fall idea. What are you whispering about? Nothing. Okay, we all know I love Hawaii. That's no secret. We went to Target on my way home from picking her up and I picked up these cute little umbrellas. So I barely could affect. Yes, we have not, these are by the toothpicks. Had no idea. We have been looking for these for, for a, a long, long time. time. Like I, Kaylee wanted these for something and I couldn't, we couldn't find them at any store. Okay, oh, you went up and above. So we found the little umbrella. Are you getting where I'm going here? Then we have food coloring. I'm out of blue. We didn't have blue for the Seahawks, right? So we got f blue food coloring. So we're gonna dye some of the frosting blue and some of the frosting is gonna be white. And then we're going to sprinkle some sand on some of the white frosting. You getting where I'm going? And then I have, can you see right here? Hang on. Okay, so then we got some of these candies Sorry. and some of these candies. And let me show you what we did. We took these little strips and now you're eating one of them. You're not supposed to eat them. Okay, so we cut some of them and made a little towel. It's gonna be, need to be a little bit smaller. I might cut it when I get there and get everything frosted. I might kind of shrink it down, but I put four of them together and then I cut them and they kind of all stuck together. So obviously we're gonna have the frosting. Let me kind of move this little umbrella here. Half of the cupcake is gonna be um, the sand and we're gonna do white frosting and then I'll sprinkle the sand on and then the other little portion over here is gonna be blue like the water so obviously like my little my little towel needs to be smaller but then because they want it to be fall themed we're gonna go like that because Jason and I went last year to Hawaii in October so that's what we would see we would see pumpkins next to like all the little shops and so that's how it is in Hawaii there's just pumpkins right by the beach yeah that, that's what they do. They don't do anything fancy. They don't have hay bales. They don't have spooky spider stuff. They just put pumpkins out in front of all their beachy displays. Sand. And there's my sand. So I'll show you tonight how it turns out. I'll take a little video of it. And she's liking that she has a few extra treats. But you need to pull your lunch out from your backpack. And then we need to go do therapy. <laughs> oh, that look. If looks could kill. Okay, I've got all my little supplies. I don't know how many cupcakes I'm decorating. So I'm kind of taking supplies to make a few. I think we're putting being put into groups and we have to decorate 24 cupcakes, but I think each of us like decorates a certain number of them. So just put it, put it here by my purse. Okay, you guys, I just have to say this. I'm down here working through my bills, working through all the things that I have on my list to do, right? And I always save the most stressful thing until the very last. And I literally have nothing left that I needed to check off on this list of things to do. And one of those things was to call Hawaiian Airlines. And no, don't get any fancy ideas. It's just that we have a credit card with Hawaiian Airlines now. Jason has one and I have one. Kaylee uses it on my account and Jason uses it on my account to build points. He also does it on his. We're trying to get our credit up, like increased because he can do a lot more on business if he can charge it and earn points. Regardless, we had one payment since we opened this account clear back I think in April. No, we, we opened the account in like February. Had one late payment, which we pay balances in full on all of our credit cards. We do not carry balances, not at all. It's like a big no-no for us. If we can't afford it, we don't get to buy it. But I had one check that did not clear my bank account in time for me to clear my Hawaiian credit card. One day late on a $4,000 charge. It was a bill that Jason had done for work, but we, it just didn't clear in time. He had to give me the money and then I had to deposit and that didn't clear in time for me to make the payment to Hawaiian. $75 for that late payment. Fine, my mistake, I need to time it better, lesson learned. The next three months, I've continually been charged interest even though I have made my payments on or before the due date. I And so I'm like, 
there's a $54 charge, there's a $75 charge, there's a $119 charge, and interest being charged on my account. And I'm like, I don't understand. I am on time with my payments. I finally sucked it up today and called Hawaii on my credit card, works with Barclay Bank, and I called them today and I and he looked back at my account and he's like, dude, you guys always pay on time. And I was like, I know, and I just had that one late payment. And he's like, yeah, it's residual interest. Did not know about that. So that's why I'm telling you guys, residual interest accrues after a late payment, they will accrue residual interest with so a different interest rate than like a late charge on interest. They'll continually charge you interest because you made a late payment for two months. Just because you made a late payment this month, you get charged for that month and then they'll charge you again and then you'll charge you again based on whatever balance you have for those two months. And I was like, that doesn't seem fair because I've continually been on time since the day I opened this account. And he said, and that's why I'm going to wipe it clean for you. And that's why we have Hawaiian credit cards. I was like, thank you. Lesson learned, don't be late because you will be charged for three months, regardless of whether you're on time. And maybe other credit card companies do that and I not, haven't caught it up to this point. Maybe Hawaiian slash Barclay Bank is different, but I guess we just aren't late. And so I've never had this happen. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I, oh, things can get aggravating like this, but I resolved it. All the things are checked off my regular list. So I'm gonna go back to editing and I think I can actually start on today's video soon, which I like being that caught up. Um, and then I'm gonna go to my activity tonight as soon as the girls get home from school and get them dinner and stuff, then I'll go to my activity and I will show you my cute little cupcakes that I get to design and maybe a few others. Hopefully I will win because I like to win and they all know it. <laughs> so, even if I don't, it's fun. It's all fun, fun and games. So I will probably, unless anything major happens, I will pick up with you again, because this is gonna be a long video because I chatted a whole lot at the beginning. I will just bring you to the cupcakes and show you how they came out. This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you 